Hey guys, welcome back. So I know it's been a while since I've actually filmed a video and posted something new. Um, I'd filmed a lot there over like the course of about a week, catching up, so I would have some stuff. But I've been really busy with work, and uh, Rebecca's parents were coming into town, so we were getting the house together and, and whatnot. So it's been really, really busy around this way. Uh, so I have a huge back stock of pops sitting like right over here that I want to show you guys. Uh, some of them I ordered online, some of them I picked up during trades, um, and then I went to uh, a pop swap for one of the Facebook groups that I'm in the other night, and I got some really cool stuff which is sitting over here. So I'm going to show all of this stuff to you guys uh, really quickly. Uh, now the first thing I want to show you um, is something that I picked up from the uh, pop-up shop from Funko about two, two weeks ago, sounds right. Um, like I said, guys, it's been a while since I've actually sat down to film, so forgive me if I'm wrong about some of the dates. Um, but this is the Stonekeeper from Infinity Wars. Uh, spoiler alert, guys, if you guys have seen Infinity War or haven't seen Infinity War, skip ahead a few seconds. Uh, but the Stonekeeper is the guardian for the Soul Stone, uh, and Thanos and Gamora meet him when they're going to pick up the Soul Stone. It's a really cool pop. It's probably going to be the only chance I ever get at getting the Red Skull pop or a Red Skull pop since it's a really expensive uh, but yeah, so I was able to pick this guy up. Now, what'd you say, Rebecca? Yes, I'm probably going to trade it. But it's still really cool to have right now. I know a lot of people are looking for this, and I'm trying to find some very specific items, which are really hard to find because they're vaulted. They're not even, they're commons, but they're still really hard to find. Anyway, guys, beside the point, thank you for Rebecca, reminding me of that, Rebecca. Um, the next thing... I picked up, or actually the next two things I picked up uh, from Barnes & Noble, and these are from Harry Potter. Uh, this is the new line of Harry Potter Pops that came out. The first one is Nearly Headless Nick, which is pretty cool. I heard that this one was going to be a San Diego or a New York City Comic Con exclusive, but they released it through the Commons line, which is really, really cool. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. Now, I know that the San Diego Comic Con is going to have a Moaning Myrtle, I'm not sure where that's going to come out yet, though I would probably guess Barnes & Noble because they usually get Harry Potter Pops, and Hot Topic already has like seven, so I would assume that that's what it's going to be. But it wasn't announced with the movie line, so I don't I don't know yet. Um, but I am actually going to be doing a video on all of the San Diego Comic-Con releases coming up really soon, so I'll talk more about that in another video. Anyway, guys, so that's Nearly Headless Nick. The next thing I picked up is a Barnes & Noble exclusive, um, and this is the Gilderoy Lockhart. Now, they have the common Gilderoy uh, where he's wearing his, like, brownish-red robes, I guess, is what that color is. And then these are the blue robes, which are pretty cool. Um, let's see here. What do I want to talk about next? Oh, I guess I could talk about what I bought. Uh, so I did find a chase this week out in the wild. Um, I also picked this one up from FYE. FYE is where I've been finding a lot of my chases lately. They get all of their shipment in on Thursdays, so it's really easy for me to pick those up. Um, and this is going to be Wesley from The Princess Bride. Um, now, the common Wesley, as you can see here, isn't wearing the mask, and this one is. So this is like the Black Bart Roberts uh, version, I suppose. Um, this one's really cool. Now, The Princess Bride has three other pops. Well, two other pops, I guess. Uh, it has Inigo Montoya and Buttercup, and then the common Wesley. I also was able to pick up this from Marky. And this is Bruce Lee. Now, he actually gave me both of the Bruce Lees. He gave me the Enter the Dragon one and the... I'm actually not sure what the other one is, but the one where he's wearing the yellow jumpsuit. He gave me both of these, but I actually ended up trading the yellow one to someone uh, the other night at the Pop Swap, which I'll show you what I picked up for that. This one, I, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this one or trade it. Um, I do really like Bruce Lee, and I live in Seattle, and so Bruce Lee's, um, and his sons, actually, Brandon, uh, their grave is uh, in downtown Seattle, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so this was the one that I definitely wanted to keep of the two. I'm still deciding if I'm going to keep it or, or trade it, because I know several of my friends are looking for this. Now, about... I want to say about this time last week, my friend Danny and I, who you actually guys are going to get to meet in a couple or in a couple of days, we're going to be doing some videos together. Um, he and I traded, and I traded a uh, Target exclusive Bullseye Dog for Steve, and this is the 2017 uh, New York Comic Con exclusive Steve. This one, of course, is the the one with the shared sticker instead of the actual um, event sticker. 
but I don't really care about the stickers. I was just really excited to get this pop. Um, so thank you so much, Danny. Now, Danny and I actually went pop hunting that night as well. Um, and we stopped in GameStop and a few other stores, but we stopped in GameStop and they had a bunch of clearance pops. And so they were all marked down really very cheap and everything they had clearance was 50% off. And so I was able to actually, he and I both picked this one up, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is Jet from Cowboy Beatbop. Now the Cowboy Beatbop pops have actually been going up in price recently. Um, I don't know if it has to do anything with like the release of, of their anniversary DVD box set or not. But anyway, guys, I was really excited to find this. He's like 20, 25 bucks is what he's going for. And I picked him up for $2.50. Um, Danny actually is going not tonight, or the night that I'm filming this tonight, uh, to look for some more pops. And the store that he was going to actually may have Spike. So he may be picking up Spike for me, which would be really, really cool. Now, the next things I'm going to show you is what I picked up from the pop swap that I went to the other night. I took probably about 20 pops and I came home with nine which is really good I was trying to just get rid of some stuff that I didn't need anymore um, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is actually the first trade I made um, and I was able to pick up the New York City Comic Con exclusive uh, Joker from the Killing Joke um, what did I trade for this I think I traded a Chase Hellboy Yes, thank you. Rebecca reminded me I was looking there. I traded my Chase Hellboy for this guy. Um, it's really cool. He also had something else that I wanted, but he didn't see anything that I wanted. So, uh, but yeah, so check this guy out. He's really cool. Um, if you guys haven't seen The Killing Joke or haven't read the comics, I definitely recommend him. I think it's one of the better uh, Batman Joker lines that they've done. Um, but I just, I love this pop, and it's really detailed. Like, he's wearing his Hawaiian shirt. He's got his socks and his touristy outfit on. He's even holding, like, a little ice drink, which I think is just the coolest thing ever. Um, the next thing that I grabbed was also from the DC Universe Pop Heroes line. I actually grabbed this from Danny last night because he was at a pop shop, too. Um, and this is the Hot Topic exclusive Clark Kent. Um, and so this is Superman, like, breaking out of his Clark Kent persona and, and changing into the Superman costume, which I think is really cool. Um, been wanting this guy for a while as well, so I'm happy to add that to the collection. Now, the next two pops I'm going to show you I picked up um, are from the 2018 Emerald City Comic Con, both of which I was not able to find at all. Um, and so the first one is... Um, from the Marvel Universe and it was shared with Target and this one is going to be Yondu which I think is really really cool now this Yondu of course has his uh, the fin and he's holding his arrow um, it's like he's gliding down if you guys have seen the scene it's uh, I'm Mary Poppins y'all it's just pretty freaking funny and then they're actually going to be releasing I can't remember what the character's name is, but the guy who picks up the fin at the end of Guardians 3 um, and has the arrow, uh, they're going to be making a version of him for San Diego Comic-Con, which, again, guys, I'm going to be doing a San Diego Comic-Con video really soon. Uh, the next thing that I picked up... Now, actually, actually, I bought this the day that it released, um, but I guess they sold too many, or the guy that had the bot bought, like, 150 of these. So they ended up canceling my order, and I was really sad about it, because I think this is the item that I wanted the most from Comic-Con. Uh, but this is Bigfoot. Um, and this is actually the uh, blue and teal, so, like, the Seattle color uh, Bigfoot. And this is what I actually traded... Bruce Lee, and Hulk Bruce Lee and Hulkbuster, and also my Green Army Man for. So I traded it for this. Um, something else I'm about to show you next, which is from Dragon Ball Z, and that would be Super Saiyan Rose, uh, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. And this is uh, Goku Black in his Super Saiyan form, which is, I think, really, really cool. So there's that. And then the next thing that I picked up um, is actually also from Dragon Ball Z. And this would be the Galactic Toys exclusive Shenron. Now I'm actually going to take him out of the box because I'm going to be taking him out of the box to display anyway because I don't have room for it. So I will give you guys a closer up view of this one. Wow, he's really cool. I've actually not seen this one in person yet. 
this one is wicked cool. So, got Shenron. He has the Dragon Balls, all eight of them. So there we go. Now, um, Hot Topic also had their exclusive version of this, which I believe is solid gold. Uh, but I wanted this one and not the solid gold one. Hi, buddy. You want to come say hello to everyone? Oh. Hey, guys. This is Chewy. Let me know. It's a little dog. Say hello to everyone, Chewy. All right, bud. Hello, Chewy. All right. So the last thing that I picked up last night um, is this right here. And this is Boba Fett. Uh, with Slave 1, and this is also from the fall 2017 New York Comic Con convention. Uh, New York Comic Con convention. Um, this was celebrating Star Wars 40th anniversary. I'm also going to take this guy out of the box. Um, I know, I know, I know. So yeah, guys, check this out. There's Boba Fett and Slave One, which is his little bounty hunter ship. It's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. I traded the Chase Punisher. I want to say I traded the Chase Punisher, and then I also had the. No, that's not what he wanted. He got two. I want to say I had um the Barnes and Noble exclusive Godzilla that glowed in the dark. So I want to say he took that and my Chase Punisher. Because Danny you took, took the Punisher. You gave the Punisher to someone else. Oh, I thought he took the Punisher because Danny took Giant Man. No, you made that trade before that guy wanted anything. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I traded... You traded the Punisher to that guy who gave you the wizard Deadpool that you, that you right. traded for. Right, guys. Dante. So... Um, I actually also picked up a Wizard Deadpool uh, earlier this week. Thank you for reminding me of this. And so last night, um, I actually traded my Chase Punisher for another Wizard Deadpool that I was going to give to one of my friends. Um, but the guy uh, who was uh, like set up next to me actually wanted the Wizard Deadpool, so he traded me for the Yondu. So that's where my Wizard or my uh, my Chase Deadpool went. So I traded Godzilla, Godzilla for this guy. Yeah. I knew I would get there eventually. That's why I have Rebecca. She she keeps me sane and kind of drives me crazy. But that's nothing. What? I love you. Uh, so anyway, guys, that's that, and that's everything that I've picked up over the past probably two weeks or so. Um, there were a few other things actually. I also got a Chase Green Lantern Dorb last night, which was given to me um, by the guy who I traded for Yondu. And then I think I've picked up a few other small things. Like Danny gave me the common Tormund. Um, which, oh yeah, and we have. We've been picking up some dorbs. We've, Rebecca and I have kind of decided that we kind of like the dorbs. Um, I've decided that. I like Rebecca has decided that she likes the dorbs. Um, so we've decided to do the Scooby-Doo line of dorbs. So we're, this is the first one we have now, um, which is Freddy. And then we're also going to do the Bob's Burgers Dorbs, which we're going to put in our kitchen, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, so far, we have Gene and Linda. So we're going to work on these guys. Anything else I picked up? I don't think so. Um, also, guys, as you can see, we uh, have definitely rearranged the bookcases uh, added and added another one. And we did a lot of rearranging. Um, so I kind of have actually started displaying some stuff out of the boxes. Um, I have a whole little like Star Wars section over here. I have Harry Potter here behind me, and there's some more Star Wars because I have so much of it down here. Um, Harry Potter kind of overflows into that shelf. I took my eight bits out of the boxes. Um, I have two like huge stacks on top, and then all my Disney pops are like right above me. So, yep. Anyways, that is it, guys. Um, appreciate you watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Alright, thanks for watching.